Um, so I, I want to follow up on um, uh, some of these questions about impartiality. You know, for the last few decades, productivity has increased, but workers haven't shared in that growth. Hourly wages have been virtually flat adjusted for inflation for about 35 years now. And one reason is the decline of unions, which according to the Economic Policy Institute, accounts for about 20 to 30 percent of the increase in earnings inequality in the United States. Now, this wasn't an accident. For decades, giant corporations and their buddies in Congress have waged attacks on unions. And it's the NLRB's responsibility to stand up to these efforts by enforcing the laws that protect workers' rights. So, Mr. Emanuel, you've spent most of your career as an attorney at Littler Mendelssohn, one of the most ruthless union-busting law firms in the country. So I want to understand how Americans can trust that you're going to protect workers' rights when you spent 40 years siding with employers against the rights of workers? Well, of course, Senator, uh, I wouldn't agree with your characterization of my law firm, which is the largest law firm in the world representing um, many employers in labor and employment law matters, um, and primarily employment law. Um, but, uh, but some of us uh, practice traditional labor law. Um, and Senator, if I'm confirmed, when I um, join the NLRB, as I said in my opening statement, that'll be, one of the, that'll be the greatest honor of my career. And I plan to um, um, be a, a, an excellent board member and an honest board member and an objective one and enforce the law, enforce the statute, the National Labor Relations Act, as it is written by Congress. Well, let's talk about how it's written by Congress because I understand the difference between a lawyer and a judge. But the National Labor Relations Act says that it is the policy of the United States to encourage workers to bargain collectively, not to be neutral about collective bargaining and unionization. That is the law. And your entire career has been to discourage union membership. And I just don't understand how we can rely on you to defend workers after a long career of making it harder for them to join unions. But let me, let me push to another point. You've also said, Mr. Emanuel, that if confirmed, you'll follow the White House's ethics pledge and refrain from participating in matters involving any of your former clients, which include companies like Uber and Rite Aid and Nissan for two years. Is that correct? That's, that's my understanding. Oh, no, that's your commitment. Uh, that's correct, yes. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yes. Because I'm also concerned about your lengthy history of work on three particular labor law topics that will result in serious conflict of interest. You have written extensively on whether employers can require workers to waive their rights to class actions, whether employers can prevent union workers from protesting on their property, and what the boundaries of a bargaining unit should be. And some of your views are pretty extreme and go to the heart of cases that the NLRB might decide. For example, you have argued, and I'll quote you here, that an arbitration agreement that is inconsistent with the NLRA, the law, is nevertheless enforceable. And that, quote, many employers suffer when employees are able to organize in the workplace without being arrested for trespassing. So in cases involving these three matters, class resolution, workplace organizing, and bargaining unit boundaries, if they come before the board during your tenure, will you recuse yourself? You've already written about them. Will you recuse yourself on those? Uh, Senator, the, as I understand the recusal rule, um, I have to recuse myself from all cases involving um, uh, uh, involving my, my law firm. And if there are, are uh, elements of the recusal requirement that go beyond that, uh, I will um, learn that in, in a, an ethics briefing that I will undergo uh, after I join the board. I, I do not believe, however, 
that uh, recusal would, would uh, apply to issues. And the fact that I may have uh, advised or written a brief on an issue in the past I'm, doesn't mean I would have to recuse I'm myself over time, on that issue. But I, I just want to say on this, Mr. Emanuel, it's not the work you did as a lawyer, as an advocate. It's when you wrote and put your own name on it independently as a scholar and as a person who is an expert in the field. And I'm just saying, you have made it clear that you have prejudged in three areas in which you've put your name on it. Giant corporations have... Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Thank you. I, all I want to say is, I think the American people deserve better. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.